How many of you have never logged into a Moodle site? Logged in or used to some extent? Spent 5 minutes, 10 minutes? One? Okay, so I, I think we can be pretty fast. Okay, I'll, I'll just uh, go through this. Thanks for this. Um, I didn't know that you had. Because of uh, the too much of hand raising for the first incorrect question and too little hand raising, I will just quickly show you what it is. See, this is the Moodle site which will be used for all, at least in the near future, all NMEICT courses. So note that thing down because this is something you have to note it because once you get into Moodle, everything will be known. Now a typical, I have just created a pseudo login. So once you log in, for example, initially you saw a list of courses, but this particular student, the so called student 1 is registered only for one course. But those of you who have registered for say research methodology or something else, you will find a list of courses here including the two day IST workshop on Akash for education. Uh, those who have done say thermodynamics or something earlier you would remember that there was a coordinator's Moodle and there was a actual participant's Moodle for the two workshops. This time it is not so as announced by Professor Fatak. The same Moodle site because the next uh, actual workshop is only a week away. Okay. So you will see more than one, many of you will see more than one, do not worry, click on this and then you go into the sub site. In the sub site you will find workshop schedule then these are all documents, workshop schedule shows you the workshop schedule. You can even download these files, the download button is here or print it and do anything which any document which you see on the web. Then this is a document on introduction to Moodle, I do not think except for some initial configuration, I think all of you should be familiar with this. The installing APK from pen drive on the Akash tablet that instruction is also here. Configuring configuring server for clicker and conducting quiz is also here, clicker software, everything, everything is here. One thing is feedback and quiz. So you will have a quiz here, sample assignment, yeah, not a quiz, but there is a sample assignment here. Uh, the assignments will be submitted by clicking on this sample assignment, okay. And the assignment is just uploading a file. And from today till 12th November, any person can upload a file because of the bandwidth uh, congestion and the server capacity, the size of an uploading file is restricted to 1 megabyte, right? And each participant can upload one file. I think there is a facility in, uh, if after uploading you can you may decide that look I uploaded a wrong file or you have a better version of that file. Before the deadline you can upload another file which will overwrite the initial file. But from one participant there will be only one uh, file. An important thing in our uh, is the discussion forum. Here you can this is just like a you know a news group or a discussion forum. And you would have noticed that the whole thing of Moodle is something a formal and educational academic version of something like Facebook. So you should reasonably be familiar with this. So you can create a new topic and if you want you can click on this, see what is the question asked and what are the answers given. Okay. Now I think I am boring you on this Moodle, the main interest seems to be how to install Moodle. So I will now give over the stage to Abhilash and uh, I will also request him that. Sir, sir, we had one login for the earlier workshop what we conducted. Use the same login. Maybe you are registered as a new user in the website. The email ID is different, otherwise you will get the same ID. It's automatic. Because as far as I know, a Moodle identity is linked to your email address. 
If you change the email address, the system here identifies as, Are, some naya bakra aya hai. Otherwise, it will say, oh, I know him, his email ID is this, his uh, login is this, his password is this. As far as possible, one ID should be used for all NMEICT related or Ekalavya related work. It will be less confusing for you, it will be less confusing for us. That discussion forum you mean? The feedback is a form. I see, I am now going to my introduction to research methodologies. There is click here to fill out the workshop feedback form. This is what you are talking about? So, I think, uh, yeah. now answer the questions. And then you have named the remote center where you have attended the workshop. So, select one. Then, please rank the uh, first three sessions that you considered important. So, these are various choices. You can select one of them for each choice. Then there will be some questions. Oh, unless I fill up these, it will not. I will strongly disagree for the time being to everything because that is the first choice. Do not do this, this is only an illustration. <laughs> but since I am showing you the real life stuff, I have no choice but to just click on something. Ah. See, in this thing, most of these things are drop down menus. So, select something and go ahead. There During this workshop, it is not possible to submit feedback form because we are considering you are as a teacher. You are a participant in the technical workshop. No, technical workshop feedback form is only for technical people, those who are attended technical workshop. They can only fill. I, re I had received the link, ah. but I could not submit the feedback. That okay. is okay. We will cross him. Thank you. Now, will you tell them how to install Moodle? And I also request that in the next week, uh, 10 days after the workshop, create a document on how to install, create a Moodle installation. It requires Moodle, uh, MySQL, and Apache. Right? See, before uh, I pass on to him. I have tried installing Moodle on my own personal machine. Uh, unfortunately or fortunately for me, I am a Linux user, purely Linux user. Okay, I get confused when I see a Windows uh, front end. On Linux, uh, Moodle is one of those directly installable things. Just you go, if you have an Android phone, you go to the Google Play Store, click on something and say install it on my machine. Similarly, say in Ubuntu Linux, you can go to the Mm, uh, which one? Mm, app get or synaptic package manager, Moodle is one of them. But for a complete installation of Moodle, I understand you need the Moodle installation. Then since the all the data is in a database, you need the MySQL. Are there options to MySQL? But typically MySQL or something equivalent and, and uh, a web server uh, which is uh, typically Apache. More details from him. Okay, before going to installation, one main thing I want to remember, because during the main workshop we are getting lot of calls from I forgot my password or user ID. For that, you just go to the website it.itp.ac.in slash Moodle and click on this link. You tell to the participant, click here, lost password. So, it will ask, if you know the username, you can put your username, otherwise you just put your email address. And continue, then you will surely get a mail from admin user, then you can change it from there. That is the main thing. 
the change of or lost password recovery is very similar to what you do for google or yahoo it will say lot lost password then it will ask you a few questions or ask for some identity then there will be a legally registered email address or perhaps an alternate email address where a link will be sent click no. on that link and it will allow you to change or create a new password so now you password. can see there is a mail from the admin there you can see anyone can try like this putting your username and password first you want to confirm so for confirming you want to click on this link so again you will receive one more mail immediately so in that you can see this is a temporary user id and password using that you can log in and change when you log in the moment itself it will ask for changing the password please reset the password so this is the procedure for changing the password so then installation of moodle the moodle is an open source software you can download it from the website so for that you need apache php mysql otherwise postgres sql oracle also it will support so i think hope we already covered how to install how to configure apache php mysql during the orientation workshop for technical staffs so you want to just download the moodle folder and put it on the extract and put it on the var www folder and you want to create one more folder called moodle data then go to the web browser and put the ip slash moodle then the screen will come you can configure the symbol step so that way you want to configure moodle so right now it's not possible to show it here i am sorry if you have any question you can ask you can go search it in google it is available moodle.org it's possible to install it on windows also but our servers are running on linux only so from here you can download this is the package you can download this sir exactly from past 2 or 3 years we are running moodle and uh, we are facing problem that uh, uh, we are unable to make the availability of uh, moodle uh, on uh, internet as well as on internet it is working only on one single ip so either we can put it on uh, our public ip or on uh, our internet ip so can you suggest some of the changes that we have to do in conf file so that it may be available on both you want to host it on outside yeah you can use a url no no exactly uh, it is not responding on two nic cards it is responding only on single nic means only for a specific pc it is working it is working for complete internet or internet okay. but uh, it it would not be available both on both uh, that is internet as well as on internet if you enter it in the dns then it is possible exactly i have tried all the things but uh, uh, when uh, we are doing changes in conf file uh, at that time uh, it's directing uh, that uh, on specific ip that uh, we are specifying in conf file Okay, in that specific, in that uh, I think the wrong is that instead of the IP, you want to put the URL there. Then it will work. In that my database error, data uh, Moodle underscore database. It is type uh, this type of error is generated. Mo database error means. I carefully read the instruction. Uh, actually, it contain a file. This is read read me something file, or uh, and I install according to the install instruction. Okay. But it shows database error. Database error means the database is not connected. Database is not found. Uh, Moodle underscore database. Maybe, maybe. I create, uh, I created uh, Moodle uh, database named Moodle. 
but uh, okay then maybe i think php hyphen which my server you are using database server uh, sir i try to install it in window windows windows i don't have any idea because we are not a tried in windows we are using See, only I, open source i will tell you something uh, i thought i was uh, a linux person but it turns out that all our uh, web servers particularly the moodle and other servers of the institute and particularly of these are essentially linux machines so if you ask me or him anything about uh, anything related but to sir windows, this website contains blind. two types of version for uh, linux or for windows okay sir anyway you just post it on the moodle i will figure out and suggest as well Uh, this problem is the latest version of Moodle. Uh, when we select the database, we have to select UTF, UTF, uh, Unicode 30. Then it will be solved automatically. When you are creating database in maybe in Linux or maybe Unix by default form uh, format UTF, it will not uh, so, uh, give you the solution. So you have to select manually there UTF, uh, Unicode. Then it will support. Okay. Only that you have to change and it will work. Okay. Customize and. Mainly, it is running on PHP. If you have a PHP programmers, you can customize. If you want to develop plugins, that is also possible. Right now, our um, this registration is automated. It's a five-step process. First, you want to register it on NME ICT website. Then you will get request something. After that, once you approve, that time only the Moodle is Moodle ID will generate. So that is automated. And programs are written by our programmers. 